In last lecture, we discussed the elements of an electronic communication system. Now, the general picture is like this. We have a transmitter, we have a receiver and there is a medium. Transmitter is a collection of electronic components just I mentioned. It is a electronic circuit that converts the electrical signal into a signal suitable for transmission over a given medium. Transmitters are made up of oscillators, amplifiers, tuned circuits and filters, modulators, frequency mixers, frequency synthesizer and other circuits. So, in detail each circuit we are going to study in this subject. Now, communication channel. The communication channel is the medium by which the electronic signal is sent from one place to the another place. Types, electrical conductors, optical media, free space and system specific media means we are go, if we are going to transmit the signal through water, then water is the medium that system is called as sonar system. Third one is a free space, it is a air, mobile to mobile communication, free space is the type of media. Optical, uh, all the pieces they are connected with the optical fiber. So, optical fiber is a media. So, these are the different examples of a media. Exactly opposite of transmitter is the receiver. It is a collection of electronic components and circuits that accepts the transmitted message from the channel and converts it back to a form which is understandable by humans. Receivers contains amplifiers, oscillators, mixers, tune circuits, filters and demodulators that recovers the original intelligence signal from the modulated carrier. Next is the noise. Noise just I mentioned it is a random changeable, random means it is a changeable, undesirable electronic energy that enters the communication system via the communicating medium and interferes with the transmitted message. Now, whenever we are doing the communication, there are different classifications. The first one is the one way and two way communication. One way means the name itself tells you the meaning. One way means from one direction to the another direction, but not vice versa. Means, if I am teaching in class and students are just listening my voice, my lecture, then it is called as one way communication. When I am talking in the class, if I will ask some question to some student and he, he answer it, then I am also talking with the students, that particular student is also talking with me. That type of communication is called as two-way communication. One-way communication is also called as unidirectional, uni means one, in one direction and two-way communication is also called as bidirectional, bi means two. Then we have a wired and wireless, wired means physically some medium is there between transmitter and receiver. And wireless means there is no any wire, there is no any medium between transmitter and receiver. Next is analog and digital. Analog is a continuous sine wave, cosine wave. These are the examples of analog wave. And when we are using this, it is called as analog communication. Digital means it is in terms of 1 and 0. Computer communication, it is in terms of 1 and 0. So, this also we are going to study in detail. And a baseband and modulated means, baseband means original signal and modulated means we are modulate the signal. So, in detail we are going to discuss this. So, this, this is the example of one way communication. It is also called as simplex communication. In simplex communication, information travels only in one direction. If you observe the diagram, combination of ones and zeros, they are from one place to the another place, not vice versa. The common example is a TV. 
common example is radio all these are one way communication only information travels from source to destination not from destination to source second is called as two way communication if you observe the diagram all ones and zeros they are transmitted from transmitter to the receiver also they are transmitted from receiver towards the transmitter two way communication it is called as bidirectional in bidirectional there are two types in bidirectional there are two types one is called as half duplex second is called as full duplex half duplex means when we transmit the signal from transmitter to the receiver at that time there is no information transmitted from receiver receiver is stopped and whenever the information is transmitted from receiver to the transmitter there is no any information is transmitted from transmitter to the receiver transmitter is stopped the example is a walkie talkie so in short half duplex means whenever the communication is from 1 to 2 there is no any communication from 2 to 1 and when there is a communication from 2 to 1 there is no communication from 1 to 1 and full duplex means there is a continuous conversion simultaneously from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1. The best example is our telephone, landline telephone or our mobile, where the signal is simultaneously transmitted from transmitter to the receiver as well as from receiver to the transmitter. So, two way or bidirectional has these two types. This is a example of half duplex walkie talkie armature radio these are the examples of half duplex only one person can transmit or receive information at a time. The examples of simplex that is unidirectionals are AM and FM radio broadcasting either it is a Kolhapur Akashwani either it is a Sangli Akashwani. Kolhapura Akashwani is a FM, FM means frequency modulation, in detail we are going to study this. Kolhapura Akashwani is, Sangli Akashwani is AM, AM means amplitude modulation, in detail we are going to study this. Second is a digital radio, example of simplex. Television, our TV is a receiver, we are just receiving the information we are not transmitting anything second is a digital television dtv we can say example is hd tv or internet protocol television ip tv cable television also it is an example of simplex communication facsimile service the printed visual material is transmitted over telephone lines we use fax machine for this. This is also example of a simplex. Duplex telephone, one to one verbal communication is transmitted over the vast worldwide telephone networks employing wire, fiber optics and satellites. Second is a two way radio. Third one is a radar. The abbreviation for radar is radio detection and ranging. Fourth one is sonar, it is for underwater communication. Audible baseband signals use water as the transmission medium. Submarines and ships use sonar to detect the presence of enemy submarines. Next is armature radio, this is a hobby for individuals interested in radio communication. Individuals may become licensed hams to build and operate two way radio equipment or personal communication with other hams. Next one is the citizen radio, citizen band, CB we can say radio, is a special service that any individual may use for personal communication with others. Next is the family radio service, this is a two way personal communication with handheld units over, sh over short distances. And last one is the internet, worldwide interconnections via fiber, fiber optic networks telecommunications companies, cable TV companies, 
इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवाइड एंड अदर्स प्रोवाइड वर्ल्ड वाइल्ड वेब डब्ल्यू 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 एक्सेस टू मिलियंस ऑफ वेबसाइट एंड पेजेस एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेल वाइड एरिया वैन वी कैन से वर्ल्ड वाइड फाइबर ऑप्टिक नेटवर्क प्रोवाइड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस टेलीफोन एंड इंटरनेट सर्विसेस After WAN, there is another classification: is a MAN, metropolitan network of computers transmit over specific geographic area, such as college campus, company facility, or city. Local area LAN, wired or wireless connections of personal computers, laptops, servers, or mainframe computers within an office or building for the purpose of email and internet access or sharing of mass storage, peripherals, data, and software so in short in this lecture we classify communication as one way and two way one way means in one direction unidirectional two way means in both the directions in two directions there are two types half duplex and full duplex and these are the examples now in next lecture we are going to discuss other types of classification of communications